everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I'm excited to bring you this video. It's another nail art video and I'll be using She Modern's um, nail foil art. And she, uh, Tina from She Modern came out with a new way of applying it to your nail and I completely love this way. Um, it's awesome and I hope you will too. Uh, it's applying it in, um, it's like foil, like nail foils. So I hope you like this one. Um, well, let's take a look at my picture and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. Oh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe right now. You right know, okay, <laughs> let's get started. I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And I'll be using my, one of my favorite purples <laughs> from Wave Gel, Jazzy Tonight. From She Modern, I'll be using these um, color foiling nail art. And um, it is hollow. And I'll be using the purple iridescent sparkling glitter. I do want to mention one thing that these, these are like no mess glitter bottles. These are completely awesome. Um, you don't get a huge mess when you take the cap off. You're only, you know, putting it where you want it. Less mess. These are the worst ways, <laughs> in my opinion, to store your glitter. Um, these are completely filled right up to the top. When you unscrew this, you have an entire huge mess. The, these aren't glitters. These are actually pigments, but the same concept. Okay, because as you can tell, there's like a whole bunch of pigment in here. And when I unscrew this, it's going to be like pigment everywhere. Ugh. So I, I, don't, I don't like storing it in, in these. Okay, so I've got two coats of Jazzy tonight on my fingers, and these ones are already topped off with top coat because they are all ready to go. And this one, I have a latex barrier on because we're going to do something super messy. <laughs> um, now these two, I'm going to have to take the tacky top layer off. So I have a lint-free wipe, and I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer. Okay. Now this part I've never done to my nail polish before, <laughs> um, but the reasoning is um, if the glue lifts up, it's really messy and horrible. Um, so I get why to do this. So, because I've had that happen. So I'm just going to buff it a little bit just to take the shine off super lightly so that the glue sticks. Break it down. This is my lightest sander, I think. Okay. It should shine right up um, after we put the top coat on. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. And now I'm going to apply a nail glue. So you want to apply this just in some thin, even coats, and I got this off of Amazon, so I'll put the link below, and it is actually for two bottles, which I was really surprised. I guess I didn't read the, uh, read the description very well. So here, I'm going to put it halfway. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that to dry. And while that's drying, we're going to do this nail right here. In our little packet here comes a little packet of stuff and the um, stickers, I mean the, the foil, and three of these little um, stopper um, creative art sheet thingies. And then comes with this little packet of, there's like a little mixing canvas that you can use if you're coloring in your artwork with, um, you can color in your artwork with anything, really. Um, 
There's a whole bunch of different ideas you can color in your artwork, and I'll show you that. And it also comes with little pieces of black paper, so you can actually see what your image is going to look like on darker colors. And kind of put this behind and kind of see what it'll look like behind darker color. Okay, so that's all set aside. And oh, the glue is dry. Okay, well, we're going to do this little guy first. And um, I left the tacky layer on him, <laughs> on her, on it, on my finger. <laughs> Finger's not him or her. <laughs> okay, so. What I'm going to do is I am just going to tap some glitter from the bottle onto my nail. And then I'm just going to make sure it's all over the nail. And if you're using this little canvas, you can kind of pick it up with your finger. Kind of put it. Make sure it gets all in there. Whatever you want. Okay, and then you just take a lint roller and clean off your finger. And you can clean off the canvas. And we'll just put that to the side and just use some paper towel now. Um, so I'm just going to remove this, which I could actually have done with the lint roller, but it's just not going to do that. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to clean up any excess glitter that I don't want that may have gotten caught in the edge here. Oh, did you guys see all that? There we go. So now I'm just going to pop a top coat on that and uh, we'll come back and we'll finish up the rest of the design. Okay, so now we're going to use um, the little foil art work. Okay, and um, there's no need to cut around this stuff like we were doing before. So we're just going to cut out um, a heart. I'm going to try using one of these medium sized hearts. So you can just cut down the row. And I'm going to use a small heart too. So basically, um, just cut it out. I think we're going to cut a little bit close to this and you'll see why. So this one has a little extra, you know, stuff at the end. So now, Let's see, let's put this down for a second. Okay, so I have my monocle stamper, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick this up, maybe, <laughs> there, and put it down. Get rid of the paper backing. Okay, make sure it's down really nice. Okay. So now I am going to put it on my nail and I think I'm just going to do it kind of like on and off the nail so that I have, I'm going to try to do like the little one up there. Maybe I should put the little one on first. Let me get another sample. Hold on. Okay, so I want the little one and these bows kind of like go in both directions. So I think I want the little bow to go that way. So I want that one right there. Somewhere where it'll be okay. Can you use it another time? Don't worry about that. Okay, so now I've got this little one and I'm gonna stick it right there on the stamper, smooth it out a little bit. I should probably should smooth out with a little paper on the back. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put this little heart right up here. Push it down, okay, 
Now once it's down, we're going to take these little creative stencil stopper things and, or you can take, I don't know, take something like a saran wrap or something like that, but these are handy because they're in the packet already. And we're going to smooth out any wrinkles that we see and push it down really good. Okay guys, this is the first try I'm doing this, okay? Let's hold our breaths. <laughs> and then we're gonna carefully peel it. Very slowly. Wow, I did it. Stuck there. Ha! Huh, that's so cool. Okay, now I can place the big one down here like this. Perfect. And I'm going to get this little piece of whatever. And I'm going to push it down, get out any wrinkles that I might see, push it down really good. I want the whole design and the glue. Okay. Now we're going to take this edge. Looks like it's not quite down in the glue. Push it down some more. Okay. Take this edge. Working. Yeah. Okay. See? That's all that's to it. Now you can just put a top coat on and you're good to go. Okay, so we got that one done. That looks okay, pretty good. All right, so now for the next one. Okay, so I got another one on for this finger. Just gonna put it on there like that. Let me get my little plastic and just press it on really good. And then gently lift it up. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here like this. And I'm going to take another one. And smooth it down really good. Make sure it's down in the corners really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glitter on that part of the nail. So where did my mixing canvas go? It's around here somewhere. It's clear. You can't see it. It's hiding. I'm so organized, guys. <laughs> okay, so here's my mixing canvas. Here's my nail. <laughs> here's my glitter. Oops. 
came up a little. Be careful on the edges when I'm putting my glitter on. So I can just put some right there and then I can just tap it into where I want it. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna stick to the foil, it's only gonna stick to where the glue is. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess up the little heart that we have here going on here. I have enough glitter there. You use hardly any glitter. This stuff is going to last me like the rest of my life. <laughs> there's a lot of, I mean, it's small, but there's a lot of glitter in here. A little glitter goes a long way, let me tell you. Okay, so now we're just going to, oh yeah, we're going to make sure that there's no glitter on this right here when we lift it up so it doesn't get on the part of the nail that I don't want it to. There we go. Perfect. So now I'm just going to put a top coat on and we'll come right back and see how this looks. So I'm going to show you what actually I do for glitter. So I've got this top coat <laughs> that I use for glitter. And I'm just going to brush it on top of the glitter. So it kind of seals that in. And then I'll take it, the brush, and just wipe it off in a paper towel. Like that. That gets the glitter off. And then I'll cure this, and then I'll come back and do the whole nail. This way I don't contaminate all of my top coat. With glitter and the glitter pretty much needs two coats anyway if you want it smooth if you want the sandy look then you don't need two coats okay so here is the finished look I really like this technique a lot so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.